Hi guys, how's it going? Hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So today's video I wanted to share with you five fashion rules that I personally live by and always keep in mind when I'm getting ready. So take this with a grain of salt. I'm not telling you that you have to do all these things. These are just five rules that I sort of always have in the back of my mind when I'm getting ready and things that I personally like to live by. So let's jump right into it. So the number one rule that I typically live by is when you're getting ready, try to balance out your outfits. So if you're wearing baggier pants, maybe then opt for a slimmer fitted top and vice versa. If you're wearing a really baggy top or an oversized top, then opt for something slimmer fitting as your bottoms. And I find this just really helps keep your outfit nicely balanced and the contrast between something oversized and something slim fitting I just personally feel like is such a great mix. So that's something I usually try to keep in mind when I'm getting ready. So rule number two that I really like to live by is less is always more. And if you guys watch any of my styling or things like that, you know that my style is pretty minimal and I usually don't go overboard with a lot of accessorizing or anything. So one thing that I always try to do, it kind of goes with the balancing it out rule actually, so if I'm going to be wearing huge earrings, I try not to wear a really big statement necklace, but maybe something a little bit more delicate and then vice versa with that as well. If I'm wearing a huge statement necklace, maybe I'll just opt for some stud earrings. And this rule also goes with patterns and textures and everything like that. Like if you're going to have a really statement top with a heavy pattern, then maybe opt for something a little more solid as your bottoms just so there's not too much going on with your outfit. Try to have one statement piece and really build your outfit upon that. Okay, the third rule that I really feel strongly about and I always, always live by myself is underwear lines are not your friends. So if you're wearing something really slim fitting, make sure you're wearing seamless undies because it just looks so much better. And the same thing goes for bra straps. If you have a spaghetti strap top or like a halter top or something like that, and you can see your bra straps through it. I don't know. I'm personally not a fan of the bra straps hanging out. So I usually opt for a strapless bra with tops like that, just so you can't see anything and you're really getting the full effect of the top and how it's supposed to look. So for me, my nude strapless bra is one of my go-tos actually. I get the most use out of it and that helps me avoid bra strap situations. So my next one isn't really a rule, I guess. It's sort of more of a tip. So that is have your signature piece, your signature look. For me personally, I feel like my signature piece that I always fall back on is something with a higher neck, just something if you're getting ready in the morning and you're feeling stuck, you have that one piece, you know you feel so comfortable in, you know it looks good on you and you just absolutely love it, just makes getting ready a lot easier. And you know when you go out shopping as well, I love pieces like that and I know I feel confident in them. So why not have a bunch in a variety of different tops? That way you're always looking good. And last but not least, the fifth rule that I try to live by is once your outfit is all picked out and you're looking good, don't forget about your hair. Your hair just like pulls your whole outfit together. And if you have a really good outfit and your hair is not taken care of, then it just doesn't go. So kind of like having the signature style, have a signature hairstyle that you know you can just like whip up in a couple seconds and it looks good, you're really quick at it, and then you can just head right out the door. So for me, my personal go-to quick hairstyle is just a sleek low bun. It takes me literally one minute in the mornings and I find I rock it a lot just because it's super simple for me to do. So have that hairstyle that you know you can just whip up really quickly. That way when you're putting together an amazing outfit, you have the hairstyle to go with it and you're good to go. So that's it for my video today, guys. I hope you liked it. Like I said, these are just rules that I personally like to live by. I mean, you do you at the end of the day and take it all with a grain of salt. But yeah, hopefully you learned a little something and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram because we can definitely connect more there and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!